Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be having a little look into the Ultimate Team market. As you guys may know, the market right now in Ultimate Team is an absolute shambles. There is only 350,000 350, live transfers and as you guys may know, usually there is eight, 900, maybe even a million live transfers at any one time, which also shows that FIFA is very much dead right now. But as you can see, there is only, I think, six normal Ronaldos on the market right now, or maybe even five, actually, excuse me. But that is ridiculous. There's obviously no 94 strikers. There's only, I think, three or four record breaker Ronaldos, a couple of team of the year Ronaldos. And the main kind of moral or the thing to take from this video would be Go and buy any of the players you want now before they become extinct, and they will. You know, Ronaldo will probably end up just being like one on the market. I know on PlayStation at least, I think there's like no normal Iron Robins, which is just so ridiculous. I know I did a video a couple of months ago on the Ultimate Team market, but this is kind of the worst it's ever been on the Xbox anyway. We've always had a few extinct players. But people like Ronaldo who are getting packed, you know, the normal Cristiano Ronaldo can be packed at any single time. So it's very strange for him to be completely off the market, as is Messi. A lot of people pack him on a day-to-day -day basis, and you can see, I think there is only one normal Messi right at the end, which has just been listed, that is actually on the market. It's just so crazy. And again, I'm not too sure why. There's no record-breaker Messi. There's a couple of Team of the Years. There's quite a few Team of the Seasons. There's like three or four of the Man of the Match Messis. It is just an absolute shambles, as I said, and, you know, even Ibrahimovic, I don't think there's any inform Ibras, you've got the team of the season, or one man of the match Ibra, or the normal one. Apart from that, there is no Ibrahimovic's on the market, so it is absolutely crazy. Let me go know, guys, if you have a PS4, what is the market like on there? Is it any better than this, or is it any worse? I know that a couple of months ago, you know, the PlayStation had a really bad problem with this, and it's coming back again, and part of the reason I believe it to be happening is because EA don't put the price ranges high enough for these players so when people pack their Agueros, their Di Maria, you know, man of the matches, their Ronaldos, their Messis, they don't want to sell them because right now Cristiano Ronaldo I believe goes for like 900,000 coins which is ridiculous. You can't blame people when you pack a good player like that you don't want to sell it because you know that realistically it's not really worth selling a player like that for such a little price and knowing that he is extinct so no one else is selling him. That, I believe, is one of the main reasons why, and EA need to bump price ranges up a lot for players to come back on the market. As you can see, Balassi, there was actually a striker Balassi on the market, but again, he's been extinct for so long, and he is hard to find. The best way to do it, guys, is to spend, you know, maybe 20, 30 minutes of your day trying to snipe the players that you want in your team. And you can see, to actually get a striker Balassi, you would have to convert him, I believe, up from a CM, is it? And you will see in just a second, there is actually one at CM for 50,000 bin. But that is so cheap for a card like Belassi. That card, realistically, should be going for about 200 to maybe 250,000 coins for a player like that. And he's going for 50k. You can see why he's extinct. And we also do go and have a look at Ham Hammers Rodriguez. And you can see there is literally not a team of the season one that I could see anyway. I know I didn't search properly, but you can see not many people are listing up their players, so it is advisable to go and buy the players you want before the end of FIFA. I know we've only got a couple of months left, but if you want to go and buy that Ronaldo or that Pele or that Di Maria, go and try and find them now before you leave it too long. The longer you leave it, they're going to get so rare, it will be unreal. You know, people like Team of the Season Aguero are now gone, so it's going to be very hard for you to pick up players like that. But if you do want to get them, start now and try and get them and if you snipe them you should better get them eventually it depends how rare it is if you're looking for like a 94 striker Ronaldo you literally want to give up because only a few people probably even have him on the game anymore and only a very very select amount of people will ever list him up in the market because he is so rare I mean I haven't seen one on the market for about two months or so which is pretty crazy you know he is just completely gone so anyway guys Thank you for watching this video. As I said, take my advice. Go and buy your players now if you want to use any Team of the Season players or special cards or any player in particular before they do go completely extinct from the market. If you guys did enjoy this video, if we could smash over 5 likes, that would be absolutely awesome. If you haven't already, go and subscribe to the channel. There is a button down below. It's completely free. And I'll see you guys in the next video very soon.